So what are we doing? What are we doing now? So you know, now we we just you know after we got all this done, we decided well let's do just do a quick test of the EER and the SEER and just see where we're sitting at. So what I've got here is the um, come over to this side might be easier for you. Just going to a toolbox here and I'm going to turn on the Redfish meter and just connect it. And so right now it's reading zero watts. I just turn it on to kilowatts to start with. That's usually the best spot to start with. I'll hit home here and then we're going to go into the electrical section. So as soon as it picks up that the meter's attached, it automatically goes into the watt mode. And uh, all I'm going to do is just clamp around one of the legs of the 240. You can see we're drawing 1.49 amps. And then I'm going to go across the, uh, the load side of the contactor. As soon as I go across the load side, there's our power in watts, our voltage of 213, our amperage 1.5, and our power factor 0.45. I'll just hit capture on that. Now, this is an ECM motor, and low power factor with an ECM is nothing to be worried about. They actually, they pulsate. They don't fully use the AC sine wave. So what you'll see is this, what looks like a, uh, a low power factor that might be a problem, but in fact, it's just the way the technology works. It's, uh, it's pulsating DC, and, and this is perfectly fine, and this is part of the reason ECMs actually save energy. Uh, and so that low power factor is not an issue. Now, when we go outside on the condensing unit, which we'll go out there right now and test that, we expect to see that power factor factor, um, you know, running around a, a 1.0, 0.99, 1.90. Uh, so let's walk out there, Brian, we'll grab that real quick. All right, so what we want to do is just pick up on the, on, the, on the condenser, the power coming in right here. So we're just going to go ahead and grab power on this leg. And then we can get, we can go to the low side of the contactor. It doesn't matter if you go to low, uh, low line or low. One hand and you're making electrical measurements if at all possible. This one's also got a really low power factor here. Is this a, uh, a digital compressor in here, Brian? Oh, we're at Unity. Oh, there we go, Unity. We're, okay, I just must not have had it fully on there. Yep, so there we go. We'll hit capture here. And uh, capture and clear. Let me hit capture. There we go. All right, so we'll pull that back up here. And uh, what we got here is about 1,500 watts, 213 volts, 7.2 amps. So we're going to go ahead and hit submit on this. And now you can see our, we're running 12.4 EER and about 13.8 SEER. We're right on spot. And you can expect a 13 SEER unit to run over 13 SEER when we're outside of design conditions. Uh, we're, let's see if we can get our outdoor air temp. We're at, at uh, 90 degree versus 95. So the higher head pressure, we would see a, a higher amp draw and it would push it down more towards the 13 SEER range. But this is all looking really good right now. And uh, we're good to go. So any questions on that, Brian, or you got it? No, that's it. Just uh, yeah, pretty cool. All right, very good. Thanks.